Hey everybody, Rada here. Good morning. It's about 5.30 in the morning on New Year's Eve day. And I am going to make a quick little video showing you the new toy that I got. I ran it for the first time yesterday, so that's awesome. And maybe I should correct myself and say that this is new to me. Um, this is a used firearm, but I'll, I'll be darned if if you can even tell. Um, anyway, we all know what it is because the title of the video uh, probably gave it away. Um, I bought myself a CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1 pistol version. Um, before we go on, yes, the weapon is safe and I don't care if you believe me or not. <laughs> Anyways, you're gonna have to forgive me. It's about 5.30 in the morning. I woke up at about 4 and I couldn't sleep. And this is what I felt like doing, I guess. So, like I say, I ran it yesterday. Uh, it is a used weapon and there are a couple of reasons why I went with a used one instead of a brand new one. The first of which being price. Uh, these things brand new without the brace are running between you know seven to nine hundred dollars depending on where you go which is you know not terrible I guess but I got this whole kit for 950 or excuse me 925 and that's before taxes and all the other bullshit so 925 I got the use scorp plus the folding stock which was actually a big excuse me, folding brace, sorry, it's 5.30 in the morning, uh, which alone adds a couple hundred bucks onto it if you buy one brand new, so this was kind of, uh, this kind of helped make the sale. These mags are, you know, they're fine, I guess, I don't, I don't necessarily have a problem with any of them, um, Two of them are CZ mags, and two of them are PGS mags. The CZs hold 30, but really, once you get to about 25, they don't they don't want to hold anymore. Not comfortably, anyway. They they will. I mean, you can shove 30 in there, but honestly, it, it's just it's not comfortable. Um, and then I have these, which are 32 round mags, but again. And these are a little better, in my opinion, because uh, I, the springs just seem a little bit more friendly because you, you can put 30 in there without too much trouble. Um, they have metal tops, which I kind of feel like are a better thing. I don't know. I'm kind of new to Scorpions, so yeah. So it came with four mags. I plan on replacing these mags, or at least adding to them. I really like the Magpul Solid Black ones. I think the Solid Black mags will... Uh, look really nice in contrast with the Battleship Grey, which I'm also a big fan of. One of the reasons I chose this one is it was the color that I wanted. Um, so, you know, and I, I like the way the the black bits, the trigger, the, the releases, all the little pins, and I like how all of that uh, really contrasts well with, with the Battleship Grey. Uh, a couple of things I don't like about the Scorpion are, number one, this front grip. I don't know what I don't what it is I don't like about it, but it's got to go. I've already uh, ordered a barrel from Strike or not a barrel, but a uh, a foregrip from Strike Industries that has more of a, an appearance of a free floating barrel. I have a cat that might come up here and get in the way, which uh, I I just got. We're not installing that today. Come on, Miko. But we will be soon. Uh, like I say, the brace came with the weapon, which is awesome. I got a new grip. I think it's a mag pull, but I don't remember. I'd have to go get the box, and we're not doing that today. Uh, so I don't remember. I got a, uh, a spring kit, which will reduce the trigger pull, which is like an insane eight pounds. So it's pretty rough in that department, but I think we can make it a little better. I'm also looking for a binary trigger to just replace the whole thing altogether, but I've been having trouble finding those. <clears throat> uh, 
with all that said, I, uh, like I say, I did order a new front grip. One of the things that I really liked about the Scorpion and one of the reasons I, I chose the Scorpion is because uh, I'm a left-handed shooter and a lot of weapons are not left-handed friendly. And this is one that is left-handed friendly, and namely with things like the charging handle. Right now it's configured for a right-handed shooter. But the cool thing, besides being able to do the HK slap, I mean, come on, that's pretty sweet. For, for a poor man's HK, that's pretty sweet. Uh, but the other cool thing is, is I can take this charging handle from the left side and put it on the right side, because I'm a lefty and this will be my offhand. But the other cool thing is, if I don't want to do that, I can just add another charging handle and have two charging handles since they're non-reciprocal, which is what I've decided to do. I have a lot of friends that I like to shoot with and we all like to play with each other's toys. Um, so I wanted to keep it as friendly to right-handed shooters as possible while still accommodating myself. Uh, so that's what we're going for. So I'm gonna add another charging handle to that. I'm gonna add a new foregrip. Come on, kitty cat, not right now. I'm gonna add a new foregrip and it has that, the fake, uh, the fake can on the front, which is, which is awesome. Um, I know a lot of people say, just get a real one. Yeah, I, I'd like to get a real one. They're super expensive and I don't have, what is it, an NFT or, I don't have the stamp for it, which I should probably, Get on with one of these days. Uh, anyways, uh, so, and then I said, we're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna add a charging handle. We are going to, in, it, we're gonna replace the, the, the mag release, but let me just say that I actually don't know why I decided to do that, because the mag release works really well for me. I have big enough hands where it functions just fine for me, you know? It it doesn't it doesn't really require an updated mag release for me because my finger easily comes off trigger to push it. It's not it's not a stretch for me. But nevertheless, we're replacing it anyway with I believe I don't remember if it's an HB Industries or a Strike Industries. Like I say, I have it in a box in the other room. We'll find out in one of the next videos. So yeah, so we're going to be replacing the mag release. I do have a spring kit, like I said, that we're gonna put in there that will hopefully reduce some of that trigger pull a little bit until I can find a binary trigger. And then I also got new uh, safety selector switches for both sides. Again, I'm trying to make this as ambidextrous as possible. Um, it's not too bad for me. Like I've, I've read a lot of articles where people really, really have a problem with how that switch digs into their finger. Now mind you, I've only put 300 rounds through it, so maybe I just haven't felt the wrath of that safety selector yet. And I've seen some videos where guys take a Dremel and they just kind of trim it down, you know, they just kind of, I don't know, flatten it out or trim it down. But I, and you know, that's fine. If that's, if that's your thing, that's fine. I went ahead and ordered actually newer ones that are a bit smaller and a little bit more low profile. I got one for each side so that I'm not uh, shafting the right-handers, so to speak. Um, and as far uh, as upgrades go, that's about it, except for the one that we are gonna do today, and that is the optic that I bought for it. I bought a, if I can quit bumping my camera here, I bought a Sig Sauer Romeo 5 Red Dot. And I confess, this is the second shooting of this video that I made, so I've already opened this and I've already installed the battery. Um, if, for those of you who watched my Vortex Venom video where I struggled to get that battery in there, I will say that uh, SIG has really uh, addressed that problem, even though I, I realize they're not the same companies, but this is the battery compartment here comes off very easily, it goes on very easily. It was a relative joy to put on, it wasn't a big deal. Um, it's all set to go. 
to be mounted. It comes with an additional mounting plate, but for the life of me, I can't understand why anybody would want or need this, but perhaps somebody will let me know in the comments. And then it also comes with a, uh, an attachment tool, um, a cleaning pad, and an instruction manual. All the things that everybody loves. So we'll go ahead and put this stuff out of the way, and we're gonna real quick mount this guy on. So, one of the cool things is this thing mounts really fast. So, if I don't like where it is, if I mount at the range and it feels too close or it feels too far or whatever, it's a very easy fix. We're going to put it about like that. Yeah? I don't know. We can play with it uh, this spring when we get out a little bit more. Okay, so... Now we just gotta screw her down nice and screw her down nice and tight. Nice rata. Anyway. Alright. Yeah. That easy. That easy and that simple. I think it looks nice. I think it adds to the look of the 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 overall look of the weapon. I think it looks pretty badass. Um Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Very happy with it so far. Like I said, I've only put about 300 rounds through it. Um, it does... <clears throat> it has an unexpected amount of recoil. I, and I understand it's because of the blowback system that it uses. But uh, I, I shot a MP5 yesterday, full auto, for the first time. And it felt like an air rifle. Uh, this, which is also 9mm... Um, had significant more recoil, but I, I mean, again, it wasn't like bad. It wasn't like, oh, well, you can't shoot this thing because it's so inaccurate because of the recoil. It was very manageable. Um, I've heard also that replacing the grip here uh, deals a pretty serious blow to the recoil as well. Um, and I understand why people don't like this. It is at a bit of a funky grip when you when you pull it pull it up to your uh, cheek it it can be it can be a bit a bit uncomfortable for your hand to hold it anyway that's the video for today uh if you're interested in some of the other upgrades i'm going to do uh keep an eye out on the channel like i say we're going to do a video here maybe today or tomorrow uh replacing this and then we're going to decide if we get it seracoded to match because the the guard itself is black but i kind of want to see how the black front grip contrast with everything else that's black and if it looks cool we're going to leave it and if we want to seracote it we're going to get it seracoted uh we're going to replace the grip we're going to learn together to replace the trigger spring because rada is not a gunsmith many of these things that i'm going to be doing i've never done before so that will be exciting we're going to replace the safety selectors and is that it that might be it oh and the the mag release. So yeah, we're going to be doing a few things here. If you're interested in seeing how any of that's done or watching somebody just make a complete fool out of themselves, make sure to tune in and check it out. And until then, stay safe everybody and have a happy, happy new year. Bye now.